Okay. Um. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna start it up. First time watching the game. Don't blow up the computer, please. Can't can't uh, really deal with that right now. That's not good. There's a lot of people playing it, too. Um, Ouroboros was at the premiere doing PvP. So I got invited to do that, and I didn't have my passport, unfortunately. They, they wanted me to demo this game at their event. I, I'm assuming he went to California for it. Something like that, because they had a, they had like a live stage and they they said it was gonna be like a you know a day or two there I guess like a like a day trip mainly one v one and three v three that is so sick dude you can do three v three what let's kill the music. Yeah, to me, that's kind of weird, because I'm trying to think of how that would work. Since they made the game kind of a bit more like Souls, and before it wasn't so much like that. Okay, so first we'll get the audio. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be I want the voice mended. volume to be pretty loud, so we'll do music at seven, six, and then six master. Let me know if it's too loud. I'm going to be paying attention just to see, but it doesn't give you full volume by default. That's good. Oh, it actually makes you do that. Cool. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. Enter pilot name. Hmm. Uh, Cybot, dude, thank you for the 11 months, by the way. And uh, Yasna, thank you for the 18 months. Welcome back, guys. I appreciate that. No message? On such an occasion, we're playing Armored Core and we're you don't even put a message. Gun. Wake the dog up. Handler Walter verified. Okay, we're doing full immersion. Activating cerebral coral control device. I'm going to bring the face cam back, but we'll, we'll just do this Authentic for cutscenes. Human. C4621 has awakened. Yeah, this whole game, Dunka, it's basically a Jeep Rubicon that went roll, rogue. The I'm Rubicon turned into a, on my a mech suit. And some guy piloted it. Destroyed the universe. Graphics look great. They, they don't look too bad. But from what I understand, like, it's not supposed to be, like, so realistic that it's like a simulator, right? So I, I had my fingers crossed my computer to be able to run it. I could have bought it on PS5, but 
decided to get the PC. Well, I guess they gave me the code for the PC, but if, if we have to, we'll buy it on PS5. Off target, but within permissible range. That's running pretty good so far. There's a catapult ahead. Use it to close the gap. Main system activating combat mode. Interesting. Okay, I'm gonna fix the audio a little bit more as we go. Because some of those sound effects were really loud. But it seems like the average audio is like about half the volume of me talking. With very, very loud explosions that make you deaf. Kind of like a modern TV when you're watching a movie and it's late and you're like, why can't the audio be good? <laughs> so it's showing me PC controls, but I'm using controller. Did anybody else get that? Uh-oh. Yeah, dude, this this runs really good. It could also be because it's the tutorial, but it, it runs really well. Oh, I can, like, roller skate. Reticle automatically targets on-screen enemies. When there are multiple enemies, the enemy closest to the center of the screen will be prioritized. Move the camera to change the priority target. Clear out those guard mechs. Perfect chance to test your AC. That, that still missed the guy. There we go. can sidestep in the air as well. Okay, so that's like a regular gun. These are the missiles. It's melee. Ooh. What is that? What did I just do there? <laughs> okay, so target assist makes you oriented on the target. I don't think that... That's like lock on. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I'm gonna say, the, the system they were talking about where it kind of just aims for you a little bit when you're looking in the area, that's not gonna fly. We need to, like, lock on. I guess this is kind of like running. Dude, this looks crazy. Oh my god. What? No! Don't die. <laughs> Don't fall off. Multi-lock. The missile launcher is equipped to the right shoulder of this AC. It's capable of multi-lock, which allows you to attack multiple enemies simultaneously by holding down the input for that weapon. Oh, there we go. Still so confused why the controls are saying keyboard. <sighs> okay, sound. We can turn it down one more just in case, and then controls. Type A. We want the icons to be changed. On screen prompts pad. Okay, that should be kind of set to it by default, but I guess maybe they'll update that. Kazagen, what's up? How's it going? Yeah, we found that luckily. I wonder if that's like a like a thing they overlooked because usually a lot of games they they just it knows when you plug in a controller. Use repair kits to repair your AC and cover AP armor points. Repair kits can be used up to three times per mission, but cannot be used in rapid succession. Your AC is taking damage. Patch it up. Two repair kits remaining. See the contaminated city down there. Man, this actually does look really good. Access the catapult. I I kind of take back what I said. Like I take back fifty percent of what I said. It looks a lot better than I thought it did. It could also be because it's running pretty well right now. I don't even know how they managed to do that. 
Like, it looks... Okay, is this arguably looking better than Elden Ring, or is it debatable? Because I feel like this looks better than Elden Ring. Like, by quite a bit. The lighting, at least. It looks better than the Bloodborne D-Make. <laughs> The style kind of reminds me a little bit of Metal Gear Solid 4. Like a little bit. Time to fly, 621. Snikey, what's up, man? Yeah, we're, we're checking this out for the first time. This is the end of the stream, so I am just going to play an hour of it or so. But yeah, we'll be getting into a lot of it and finishing it up in the next week or so. How are you doing? an hour <laughs> why are you laughing at an hour like i i know that i'm gonna probably get sucked into it a little bit but i i need to make dinner though i need to eat here <laughs> and i can't do that and then come back and then stream until like midnight or something that's it's a little bit late right our schedule is usually a little bit earlier for streaming i just started a little bit late today but yeah what we'll do is we'll probably start with this tomorrow and then i'll end with blasphemous The assault boost is used to move rapidly in the direction that the camera is facing or to rapidly approach targets, which we already learned. Picking up signals from AC Rex. Follow the markers. Yo, I can just like fly over everything. Nice. That was pretty cool. Yeah, it'll be coming soon. We're being attacked! Unidentified AC! This is really wild, man. I actually, like, I've never played an Armored Core game, for anyone that doesn't know that. But I'm a huge fan of Gundam. Like, I watch the shit out of Gundam. I even have a Gundam, too. Like, a legitimate model of one. I'd probably also own one in real life if you could. But that'd be, <laughs> that'd be a little bit much. <laughs> So our target's over there. There's a couple. Alright, we're gonna do the first playthrough only walking. License code Thomas Kirk. Extracted from an AC wreck in the contam contaminated city. Contains the pilot's res registration data. Uh, the number is RB18, call sign Thomas Kirk, rank 26. Affiliation independent, license expired. So that's no good, right? This one's already expired. Keep looking. Oh, he's blocking. Right shoulder ammunition Not with missiles, though. See ya. Oh, let's let's try to melee this guy. I haven't even done that yet. I gotta get used to the the dash. Ooh. I feel like this area has so much detail that I almost look like I'm part of the the ruin. Like my character blends in. <laughs> What's your favorite Gundam, and why is it Epion? So. 
the thing is, like, the main one, the one that was, like, blue, red, and white, was my favorite. But the one that I have in real life, it's, like, a green one. I, I don't remember their names, unfortunately. I used to watch them when I was a kid. It was always, like, a, an anime on late at night or whatever, but... I wish I remembered the names, though. It's been a long time. You play with mouse and keyboard, you think controller is easier? I could try mouse and keyboard and see. Oh, that's ridiculous. Never mind. No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> yeah, a controller is easier for me, for sure. <laughs> that was really weird. But keep in mind, I don't play a lot of things with keyboard and mouse. I, I can, but I mainly come from playing console games, even shooters. Okay, doing a hitless run of this game would be insane. Because there's so much freedom, it seems, where you can just... You could, like, land on a building over here. I could go through the bottom part. I'm sure eventually with the bigger areas and as we progress, uh, depending on how you have the thing customized, that will affect how you can explore as well. One repair kit remaining. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh. Can I shoot this guy? Makes me wonder if this is the kind of game where it has, like, secrets if you explore. Because you can fly. <laughs> Vadi's attempting damage list. I remember uh, someone said earlier in the stream that he was. I know he's one of the people that had access pretty early to it. So if he does it, that'd, that'd be amazing. I'll probably give it a try. Because you can, you can evade bullets. Like, you can actually move faster than bullets. The dude talking on the intercom about the ammo and your uh, healing kits is so cool, too. Analyzing. No damage seems impossible, or anyone else that does it, holy hell, props to you. <sighs> that's basically how it seems for every single game that exists. That's, like, relatively challenging, right? So, as much as I want to say the same thing as you just by seeing how crazy this is and how much stuff's going on... If you could get used to the amount of things on screen and you play it enough, I, there's got to be a way to do it. Just based on how, like, your movement's really good. You have a lot of freedom. There's different ways to do things, and yeah, like, I don't know. I couldn't see how it wouldn't be feasible. Maybe there's a boss that's like a bullet hell <laughs> that makes it really challenging. It's still valid, but the pilot's rank is no good. We can't use this. Wow. Head to the next wreck. What's going on, Jennifer? How are you doing? Checking out Armored Core 6 for the first time. How's your day going so far? How inelegant some of the movement is. How you can kind of just smash through some stuff. Yeah, it's, it's like brutal, dude. <laughs> It seems like you just showed up, and the world's been destroyed, and it doesn't really matter what you do. <laughs> like, it actually feels like I'm just kind of exploring and doing my own thing, even though this is actually what you're supposed to be doing right now. Because there's a lot of freedom. It, it's like a mini sandbox. G7 Hakura. Uh, rank 22D, so his rank is higher than the other guy. I, I'm assuming we need at least rank D for this to work. Expires in 12 hours, though. 
corp license easily traced forget it wow this guy's really stingy on the license transmitting marker go and check it out so like that dude was part of a corporation that wasn't viable I guess something like that Vertical catapult. Oh, it's like a spirit spring. Okay. You have to actually reach them and then you can go to other places. Interesting. You can use that vertical catapult to get some altitude. I wonder if we're going to go all the way up there. So yeah, the side dodge is just tapping left and right when you've already boosted. Excited for your birthday, Jennifer, happy birthday. Can you crouch? Oh no. <laughs> Every time I press that, it just it doesn't stop. I think you have to push the back button. Or like left stick back. Oh. Looks like they were on to you after all. I'm in no mood to pick a flight with the PCA. But it doesn't matter. Take it out now and they won't have enough to ID you. Can I get right up and close to this thing and then melee it? If that's an option, that'd be crazy. Oh wait, I gotta heal. I wanna reach this thing and then just smash it. Right shoulder and ammunition at ten percent. Destroyed, no. Okay, how about are the checkpoints? That's it. Try accessing the rack. Is there a way to do the dash and then like cancel immediately? Not really. Unless maybe you can do like another action. Was that my first death? It was, yeah. <laughs> Although to be fair, everything else up to this point has been pretty easy. If anything, I probably did even worse than you normally would because I used the repair kit by accident. <laughs> Only had uh, I think one left, right? This thing is really, really strong. Like when you when you land in the line of fire, it takes out a lot of health. I gotta use the A button more, that's why. There we go. One repair kit remaining.
Yeah, already, just at this point. Going back to what we were talking about, this fight seems a little funny to do damage less, but I don't know. It's only because it's kind of hard to see how much is happening, right? Like how many of the bullets are actually close to you versus how many are going to miss you. Like I know 100% I'm going to be missed by some things. It doesn't seem like I got hit by any of the small ones though. Just looked really close. I'm assuming there's no block button for this, right? Unless you have an actual armored core that has a shield. Because I'm trying to like sidestep. I'm trying to do a side dash without having to do the forward dash first and wait until it lets you do it. But every time I try to do that, like I'll get caught in some of the fire. It'll take away like a quarter of my health. This fight's pretty insane. Okay, that's good to know. It's not just me. <laughs> uh, how long will I be playing this? I'm going to be playing it for another probably like half an hour or so That's at it. least. Maybe a little bit Try longer. Crack. I want to check out just like the first hour of it before we ended because I promised I'd play it today. And I also promised we'd finish the Elden Ring run. But tomorrow I'm going to go through a lot of it. It's going to be a good like four hours minimum, five hours of it. Registration pretty easy once you realize what you're doing wrong. Not ashamed to say it took you about 15 runs before you realize, really? What? Looks like they were on to you after all. I'm in no mood to pick a fight with the PCA. Yeah, so even strafing right there, that's not enough to ID you. Oh wait, maybe I'm supposed to target different parts. That's okay. What the guy's saying makes a lot of sense. Avoid the explosions. Two repair kits remaining. Other than hiding behind a wall, though, I'm not really sure how to not take some advantage. Because, like, there's not, like, a dodge button, really. Uh, there's not, like, unless... I'm missing something. Kind of feels like a movie. Oh no. Heal! Okay, okay. I feel this one, I feel this attempt. I think we're doing pretty good. I believe. I believe. Here we go. Some melee? Maybe? Yes. Okay. That didn't really hit. It's all good. Yeah, it's like shield is is uh protecting it or something like that. That's what it seems like. Hmm. Interesting. Swayze, how have you been, dude? Long time no see indeed. How are you? 
don't want to backseat. It, honestly, I don't mind if you guys backseat a little bit. I don't want to know like a secret or anything, but wait, easy aerial maneuvers. Or sorry, evasive aerial maneuvers. Hold A. Explosive attacks have a blast radius. Even if you dodge the initial hit, it's easy to get caught by the blast if you remain on the ground. That sounds pretty basic, though. That's like what I was already doing. Melee is your best friend. So the idea with the melee was right. How have you been, Swayze? I've been doing good, dude. I appreciate you asking. Uh, we This is like the second stream back after taking a break for... It's almost like three weeks. Just working on some YouTube videos and focusing on that channel a little bit more. Um, and then right upon coming back, I looked at my Discord and I had a code for this. I had a code for Blasphemous 2. And they wanted to do like a sponsor for it. So I was like, well, that's pretty cool. And then I really ended up enjoying, enjoying uh, Blasphemous 2. So we're mainly going to be playing that and this until I beat both of them and then we're gonna go back to Elden Ring and do Hitless level one and maybe some runs on this game too like I really like the way this plays I like the mechanics I just <laughs> I need to figure out what's going on <laughs> I don't I don't know how to like not take damage on this guy I almost wish you could do the uh, the dash to the side to start off. Okay, wait here. So now the yellow's low. I think when that yellow bar goes down, you're supposed to hit him. It's like a shield of some sort, right? the cooldown on your missiles. Is he outside the boundaries? What's going on there? See, right there was when I should have meleeed, right? starting to understand a little bit more. I think we got this. Maybe not this attempt, but... Is this a nail biter? Are we doing hitless strats here? Red tear stone mode activated? What's going on? Is this it? I can't see. Oh, out of bounds, out of bounds. Fine, okay, okay. Chill. Where I can't see him. I can't see him. I can't see him. Oh, so close. So close, dude. If you trade shots, he'll waste you. Yeah, that's what I that's what I realized. And also just I wasn't locking on. <laughs> I was I was looking at him and the game was helping me lock on with the assist, but I wasn't actually pushing the button to lock on before. So I wasn't really hitting all of the shots, right? That's really cool though. I, at first, I that went from being completely just like I had no idea what was going on to now I can understand what's going on. So I think we're gonna get it this time. That's it. Try accessing the rack. How many people did this first try? Like legitimately, like you're not lying, or you saw somebody do it first try? Always good to take a break from Elden Ring and play something else. Gets you refreshed for that next run. That's true, dude, but like at the same time, I was talking to people earlier. I have 572 hours. That's not a lot. <laughs> I'm not sure like what you consider a lot for that game, but for me, that's like, that's really low. There's some people in chat with more. So I still really want to play Elden Ring a lot. It's just, uh, I was trying to focus on how to make the YouTube videos better and just a plan for the future to be consistent on it with dedicated videos. Because I have a new editor that's really good. 
been making some really cool stuff that you guys like. Just want to make sure that I can keep the frequency of the videos releasing higher than it's been and combine that with stuff from the stream as well. So like not only doing like the live streams, but also taking stuff from that, making videos and making original ones. Seems like he has a hard time shooting you when you're underneath. Just noticed that. Ah, that bar. I might have found the secret. I think I found a strat, guys. Seems a little cheap. <laughs> I got most of the damage right there. Are those red things where it's like beep beep? Is that a warning or is that me getting hit? I think that's a warning, yeah. That's the warning for the missiles on the ground. So it kind of patrols for a little bit too. We need to really get underneath it when it's doing that and then get the melee in. Nice. That's so cool. I think I might be a fan of Armored Core now. It's possible. Heavy combat helicopter is down. Uh, Merit, thank you so much for the Prime Sub. I appreciate that. Hope you enjoy your notes, man. So now I completely understand why it would take somebody 15 tries to do that, or even more. <laughs> That's a lot. I wonder if anyone started this game and then like actually got mad and just put it down. Because that that was... like I, I'm pretty good with shooters specifically, and I'm pretty good with action games. And like it, it was a challenge at first. <laughs> Once you got a hand on the controls, start to enjoy it, yeah. It's almost kind of anticipating where you're going to end up because you're moving so fast and you can slide That's around a little bit. You can also do this, right? But that kind of automatically just boosts you on a timer and then you're just making the movements in between. So you're like locked into it unless you cancel it. So I was like dashing into the missiles before. All right, paid in base pay, 170,000, no bonus. Expenses, 54,000 repair costs. Oh. So you actually have like a budget for the, the mission. That's interesting. Coral, a sublime substance. Discovered on Rubicon, a planet on the frontier of developed space. For a time, Coral was a revolutionary energy resource and data conduit, poised to transform human society by leaps and bounds. They called it the Fires of Ibis, a storm of flame that tore through the stars, leaving lethal contamination in its wake. Coral, the kindling, was thought to have been utterly consumed, forever lost. However, on Rubicon, the embers continued to burn. Humanity would inevitably return to stoke the fire. I saw a loading screen. I want a refund. <laughs> Give me my money back. I saw a loading bar. RB23. Call sign Raven. Authentication complete. Removing MIA status. Restoring access privileges. All right, so our, our mech suit's engine is Nissan powered. We got the RB. This is all mine. Nice. The <laughs> support system. Welcome back, Raven. Looks like you passed.
passed the authentication. Zinky, what's up, dude? Raven. That's who you are now. You're on Rubicon. I've picked up some work for you already. Take a look, 621. I really like the HUD. And like the little this menus. Application follows restoral of access privileges. Alma, your license was in a suspended state. Perhaps you may need a refresher. As an added incentive, completion of the exercises will be rewarded with AC parts. You stand to benefit regardless. Okay. I want to make my guy golden. Or like, I want to make him like chrome or something. Shiny. This is your first AC2? You thought you were the only one? There's actually a lot of people that bought this game that I don't think have played it because the original ones weren't that popular. They didn't have like a huge, huge audience. And the farther you go back, they were really weird and hard to play. Uh, if you want, like Vadi made a video on it as well. He explained how like the controls in the first one were so bad that a lot of people would probably just give up on the, the t tutorial. So like this is a huge uh, improvement because it kind of combines some of the things they've done with their other games, like Souls, with the lock-on and, you know, not really having to aim weird. The aiming is normal, plus you can lock-on. Also, I'm getting a phone call. Give me one second. Miyazaki told me that I was going to have to do a damageless run on the game, or he's going to delete my channel, so we don't have a choice. <sighs> Tenderfoot, G13 Raven. Being told Chinese food ain't arriving on time? No. <laughs> I haven't had Chinese food in so long, actually. I should. Not today, though, but yeah. It's a raw deal. <laughs> Got a headpiece, HD, HD 012 Melander. And the core from the Melander C3 as well. So does that mean we can build a new suit? All right, this is where we're gonna, we're gonna basically go down a rabbit hole. When, when I said I was gonna play this for an hour, it's gonna turn into like two days, just on this screen. Customize AC assemblies using the parts that you have available in the assembly menu. When assembling, ensure that your build keeps within the maximum weight and the load parameters. EN load parameters? I don't, I don't know what that is. Hmm. EN load. There's a bar at the bottom for it. Can you zoom in to the, the suit? It's pretty cool. Uh resize model. Oh, you can. That's really cool. Alright, so we got it. nothing else for the guns, basically. We just got the, the main pieces, these things. So the Melander gives you more attitude stability, AP, less system recovery by a little bit. It's lighter, which is good. I guess I'll give that a try. It's the system recovery mainly that's that's worse. And then boost speed is worse by one point. Doesn't really matter. It's probably the same for everything else, right? Yeah. Okay, let's just change everything over. Paint. Ooh, you can paint the die, the guy. Okay, here we go. Uh, I'm gonna go and get super specific with it in the future, but today we're just gonna keep it pretty brief. I'm gonna make them all one color. We're gonna go purple. 
if you can. Is there like a a thing where you can scale, or is it just like presets? Oh, here we go. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That ah, uh, uh, you know, that's even cooler though. The white and purple. I want like dark purple. I want this purple, but darker. Oh, you can. Perfect. That's when someone in chat's supposed to be like, Streamer, you can actually change the settings with the slider in a just color. You're blind. Secondary colors should be like yellow, I think. Purple and yellow would be sick. But not super bright though. Like a like a little bit of a dim yellow. That's good. Optional? Hmm. Do black for that. Can make it gold as well. Yeah, that, that, I like the purple and yellow. That's really cool. Obviously, it doesn't really match what you would you would imagine would happen in real life because no one's gonna be painting their mech suit when there's too many battles going on and ships are dropping bombs on the earth. But <laughs> if you had time to customize it, it'd be pretty cool. Can I change the color of the gun, too? Wow, that's sick, dude. Okay, uh... Hmm. The red one looks really cool. Yeah, I want the red gun. Doesn't really match that well, but honestly, I don't care. Whatever, let's do it. But we'll redo the design later. I might switch around the yellow and the, the purple to different spots so it's like the trim is purple and like the main stuff is uh, yellow. Like if, if the LA Lakers had a mascot that was a mech suit, it would probably be this. For sure. Okay, then we got missions. Check incoming missions from the menu. Uh, complete them to progress the story. Destroy artillery installations. Reward 100,000. Details. Destroy all Rubicon Liberation front artillery installations. Extra rewards on base number of enemies destroyed. Okay. Mop up Defang empty squads deployed in grid 135. So this one doesn't have an extra reward to it? Is that what that's saying? Uh, and then we got training. We got a test. Oh, well, I can like kind of test the build to see if it's good. Replay mission. See, so yeah, we're not going to do that again. Try this one. Got a job for you, 621. This is an open call from the Balaam Group, one of the corporate forces occupying Rubicon. Attention, all independent mercenaries! This request comes from our affiliate, Dafung. The the uh, dialogue in this Rubicon game. Front has deployed it's like on the level of a movie city. or an anime. It's like actually good enough. To, I could watch. I could watch this. They did a good job. It's not even Show like cheesy or anything. Ambition. Destroy the Liberation Front's artillery. Destroy that shit. Blow it up, America. Want the enemy weakened. And then I come in with a red, a gigantic bright red gun and a yellow and purple suit. That's amazing. <laughs> the client doesn't care who does this job. It's like Bumblebee. Kind of, yeah, a little bit. As long as it gets done. I think there was parts I was supposed to make darker. There's like some light purple stuff. There's Metallica Reflective. Ooh, okay, we're gonna try that tomorrow then. Also, uh, Fry J. Philip, what's up, dude? Haven't been okay. Oh no, right before your birth. System activating combat mode. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that you're not doing too good, man. Well, if you need any, uh, if you need any consoling, chat may be able to help you. One thing I can recommend is blowing stuff up in a mech suit. 
and flying can can definitely solve a lot of problems. Maybe not all of them though, so don't get too over in over your head, but you could possibly feel better if you just blew some stuff up. But not in real life. Just in this game, that's it. Or if you're in a safe contained environment and it's not a big blast radius, maybe in real life on your own property with the right uh, permits and stuff. Because I guess you can do fireworks, right? <laughs> Yeah, no, in all honesty, if you actually are having a, a rough time, I hope you hope you are able to uh, improve the situation as soon as possible. And if there's any uh, if there's anything we can do to do that to distract you, let me know. That goes for anybody. If anybody's having a bad day, bad week, bad month, bad year. Hopefully not more than bad year, but regardless of whatever's happening, uh, definitely a lot of really cool people here. They'll probably make you. Like, at least realize there's some relatability. Like, I know a lot of us have gone through similar things. Maybe not every person you can relate to, but there's there's some pretty good life experience in chat, I'm sure. With, with certain individuals. If you need advice, or if you just want to distract yourself, I can say something stupid, and it might make you forget what you're thinking for like two seconds. And that's better than nothing. That's actually pretty cool. Okay, I'm gonna melee these guys. Oh, shit. Okay, they're a bit harder than before. There. That's one of the artillery placements. The front is protected with armor plate. You're up against mass-produced MTs. Eliminate them as necessary. Enemy nice. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Like Two okay. repair kits remain. Yeah, we don't want to waste those other repair kits. Uh, Move on to the, next site, the melee really is overpowered. It looks so cool with the red gun. You actually love it. I actually, I really like the red gun too. I'm going to keep the red gun and I want to make the guy chrome or gold. That'd be really cool. Okay, we'll go for the roof one. Also, how does the stream look with the game running? Is it running smoothly? Because it, it plays smoothly on the PC. I thought I'd have to change a lot of settings. like water that's amazing see like it's it's pretty unlikely for me these days especially with this computer it's getting a bit older to just turn on a game that's brand new and it works really well no problems no no uh technical issues and it runs well it's almost unheard of <laughs> Also, I wonder, do you get to, like, play against other people in the story that also have their own suits and they're, they're just as good as you? There's, uh, other ones? Okay. Uh-oh. Where am I going? Oh my god. Dude, they're actually pretty good. <laughs> Let strength be grand so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. The only thing that could top this off now is if this city was still active and people were in the buildings. <laughs> I could not imagine that. Like, you were actually freshly destroying the planet as you were doing this. 
once they get good enough with the you know the amount of technology they can utilize and computers get good enough, I bet you we'll do it. Okay, I think I'm taking too aggressive an approach here. I gotta rethink this. No more heals. We gotta be sneaky now. So much is going on. Right shoulder ammunition uh -oh. at thirty percent. Uh, Tango, thank you for the seventy-two months. Welcome back. Yeah, we're doing a stealth build now. <laughs> Some of these things are hitting the ground beside me and still killing me, though. Like I could kind of cheese around the wall with part of my missiles, probably. Just like those two. I don't think that's working. Oh no. Oh, there's like a shield, isn't there? Yeah, I need to take care of the other one. It's like when you sneak up on your enemy and then you just like supernova blast away from them, <laughs> Le leaving the rest of the uh, the civilization in like a like a time warp from the explosion of zooming away. This game would be perfect if the mech transformed into a fighter plane. Apparently, that you can transform into a tank though, and you can actually roll around as a tank. That would be cool, for sure. But then again, someone would probably just say, well, then why don't you just go play a game where you can be a fighter play? <laughs> right but yeah, there should be something special where you can do that. I got destroyed over the wall. Damn it. Okay. <laughs> All right. I made a promise with myself. It's not something I want to do. I, I do want to keep playing this game. It is fun. I'm very curious about how it turns out because we only got into like the one mission. But I have been going for like almost six hours. I said I would do five and a half because we started late. And uh, yeah, the main the main point of today was finishing the Elden Ring run and just starting this. So I'm going to continue this tomorrow, guys. Uh, we'll be live earlier. Probably around like 2 p.m. EST latest. That's the goal. So if you want to catch that, here are the socials. I'm going to be putting a post on Twitter when I go live. Probably about 30 minutes to an hour before. And then there's the Instagram if you haven't followed it. Check it out. The YouTube will have a first playthrough video that's cut up with all the best moments of this whole playthrough on it. And I'm going to do like a review of the game, just giving my first impressions to say if it's worth buying. Is it, you know, similar to other FromSoft games, etc. And then there's the Discord, the TikTok. Uh, and if you want merch, I do have Elden Ring merch and I do have merch for the channel as well. Because a lot of people were asking about that. And yeah, I will go on a raid and send you guys somewhere that is hopefully just as exciting with maybe not any explosions because I don't want to ruin the game. I don't want to spoil anything. So we'll find someone not playing this. Let me just check and see who that would be. And uh, thank you so much for the good stream today, guys. It's been really fun. I know that uh, I've been very chatty because like it's been a while. I've been excited to do this again. So I might have been a bit distracted and take, took a li little bit longer on certain things, but it's been very fun the past couple days, so. Yeah, thank you for that. We are going to raid... Uh, we're gonna raid Metric. Metric's playing Baldur's Gate 3. I actually know him in real life. He's a pretty cool dude. He's been a pretty good friend, so. I think he'd appreciate it. And I think he's gonna play this game too. I just don't think he's playing it right now. 
He's done a lot of really crazy Darkest Dungeon runs. Uh, on the second game, I believe he's attempting to eventually go Deathless. So I'll see you guys there. And uh, yeah, I'll see you again tomorrow.